Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're going to be learning a calculus three concept. It's called change of variables. It's turning a region that has a very tough area to integrate um, and turning it into something more manageable, basically. So here is a sample problem. Uh, let R be a region bounded by the lines, and I'm going to draw this as I'm talking, y equals x, y equals 4x, along with the hyperbolas, uh, y, x, y is 1, and x, y is 3. So then we would be doing something like this. I'm like, this is y equals x, that's y is 4x, x, y is 1, and x, y is 3. This would be very, very difficult to um, integrate. Like, it's damn near impossible. And we're going to evaluate this R, X, Y, D, A, using the change of variables they gave us U equals Y and V equals X, Y. So the first thing we do in um, any, uh, like, any of these change of variables question is to find, I remember, I treat math like an algorithm, algorithmic type of approach. Uh, don't make sense of it. Just follow these rules and you will solve your problem. Find X and Y in terms of uh, with respect to uh, U and V. That's the first thing we do when we solve these types of problems. Then uh, sketch, out, sketch out the transformation T. Uh, trans... Formation T. Uh, third is find the Jacobian. Or J. And then for the lastly, what you need to do is uh, evaluate the integral. Yeah. Okay, so the this is the four steps. I'm not. I'm gonna try my best not to erase this. Uh, uh crap. And um, yeah, I'm gonna try my best not to erase this. So the first thing I'm gonna like um, I'm gonna try this. So okay, so we know that u y is equal to u, correct? And this part is gonna require a bit of creative manipulation. So V is equal to X, Y. Then that means, since V is equal to X, Y, and U is only equal to Y, V is equal to X times U, which then implies that X is equal to V over U. Uh, am I right? Yeah, I'm right. Okay, so X is equal to V over U. So that's what we have. Um, so our change of variables, therefore, becomes x is v over u, and y is equal to u. So we've uh, managed to solve for x and y in terms of u and v, as functions of u and v, if you will. Uh, now, next part. We're going to identify each of these curves in the uv plane. Uh, so the c1, first of all, is... Uh, is when y is equal to x. So we have four curves. y is x, y is 4x, uh, x, y is 1, and x, y is 3. I'm going to label these curves c1. Uh, you know what? Yeah, so the first curve is the y equals x. So that turns into, um, let's see, that turns into uh, u is equal to v over u. And uh, so we have u squared is equal to v, or u is equal to the square root of v. That's the first curve in the uv plane. Uh, C2 is y is equal to 4x. And then this gives you, uh, let me think. Uh, yeah, y is equal to 4x, so then u is equal to 4v over u, because, yeah, 4 times x. u squared is 4v. 
So that implies that u is equal to 2 root v. Uh, C3 now is uh, x, y is 1. Well, we said v is x, y, so that is just simply v equals 1. And similarly for C4, where x, y is 3, that just simply translates to v equals 3. So putting that in um, the uv plane, this is like the original R. I'm going to call this new transformation T. Looks something like this. Excuse my poor graphing skills. Um, so let's see. Yeah, U and V. We have something that's a region T that's almost shaped like a caterpillar. Uh, it, it's quite an interesting design. Just watch. So it looks something like this. Uh, This is, uh, yeah, u equals 2 root v. And this part here, this lower curve, is u equals the square root of v, integrating it from v equals 1 to v equals 3. And of course, we can label this t. So that's step two done. Uh, step three, we need to find the Jacobian. And this is important when we evaluate the integral. So the Jacobian, or the value j, is equal to, um, dx du dx dv dy du dy dv it looks a bit like that okay and now what we do is um yeah so remember x is v over u and y is simply equal to u so uh, dx du would simply be negative v over u squared. Uh, dx dv, that's 1 over u. dy du is just 1, and dy dv is 0 since there's no v variable, v variable in the y. So we have this. The it's basically the determinant of this matrix, and that is just negative 1 over u. That's the value of the Jacobian. For now we evaluate the integral. Um, I'm first going to write out the general solution before I evaluate it. So anytime you have a function of um, a integrating a function f of x, y over a difficult region r, dA, that is simply equal to this uh, tran integrating over the uh, transformation t, f of where um, x and uh, y are functions of u and v. So y, u, v um, times the absolute value of the Jacobian, absolute value of j, d, a. Now, um, using this uh, transformation t. So that is from, we're going to integrate first with respect to u, then respect to v. So u is equal to, so u as a function of v. So it's from root v to 2 root v. So we have that. Uh, then we have a v from, uh, okay, so from 1 to 3. Yeah, of course. Then we have that. Okay, so now... We originally were trying to integrate x, y. Well, x, y is simply just equal to v. So v and times the uh, absolute value of j, that's negative 1 over u. But we're on the uv plane where u and v are both positive values. They're, they're never going to be negative. So um, right now it's absolute negative one over u, but we can just later write this as one over u. So yeah, dv, d, since negative one over u will, um, yeah, this, this will always be um, neg positive one over u when you're in this region t. So that is equal to some one to three and uh, root, v 
to root v. Uh, v over u, because v times 1 over u, dv du. Sorry, d u d v. I made a mistake there. Please forgive me. Um, yeah. d u d v. Yeah, integrating first res respect to u, then respect to v. I made a mistake there. That was a little hasty. Okay. Uh, d u d v. Okay. Okay. So then now uh, we can just simply integrate this. Um, and when you do that, so first with respect to you, so we have that. And we have V long U because the antiderivative of one over U is long U. Two root V root V DV, which is equal to from one to three, V times mon. So uh, when you do this operation, it's actually just mon two because it's mon two root V. Uh, I'm gonna do it on the side. So it's mon two root V minus mon root V. And from the grade 12 um, pre-calculus, you know that like with operations of logarithms, this is simply just ln two root V divided by root V, which gives you ln two. So then that is equal, yeah, so it's just equal to ln two. And then you have ln two times the antiderivative of V is one over two V squared from one to three. Uh, that's equal to four. So your final answer is four mon two. That's the answer. So yeah, that's basically it for uh, change of variables. I would like to show you uh, one more thing before I um, end the video. And it's that you can actually use the change of variables to prove the... Um, the change of variables for uh, polar coordinates, basically. And, and it looks something like this. So recall from polar coordinates that it's x is equal to r cosine theta and y is equal to r sine theta, right? And um, the Jacobian there is just equal to uh, j is, yeah, dx, d, we have r and theta, right? So dr, dx, d theta, dy dr, and dy d theta. And then it looks something like this. So uh, you have your cos theta. Uh, dx, d theta is negative r sine theta. Um, dy dr is just sine theta. And dy d theta is r cos theta. And that's equal to r cos squared theta. Um, plus r sine squared theta. And that is equal to just r. And this actually makes sense because, you know, when... Um, when you have dA, it's R D R D theta, and as opposed to just dr d theta, well, that's because of the Jacobian right there. So um, yeah, that's all I have for this video. Before I go, I'm gonna give you guys a practice problem with the final solution. So um, here I'm gonna like clear the drawings. So here is the practice problem that I want you guys to try. It is, uh, okay, so find, um, find this value. <clears throat> oh, integrating over a region R of square root of x, y squared, <clears throat> dA. Um, and then 
um, I have to give you guys a uh, change of variables with some bounds. So where R is the region, bounded by um, the curves. So you have four curves, X, Y is one, X, Y is equal to nine, X, Y squared is equal to one, and X, Y squared is equal to four. And use the variables, use um, X, use the var variables U is equal to X, Y, and V is equal to X, Y squared. And when you do it correct, your final when your final answer should be 16. So try that based on those uh, techniques I just taught you. So that is all for this video. I'd love to stay, but for now, I gotta jump. I'll see you guys on the other side of the bridge. Catch you next time.